Hello and welcome to The Big Fight. Rarely has a Supreme Court judgment created quite as much of a stir as the ruling on Section 377. And now, of course, a review petition has just been dismissed by the Supreme Court. So on The Big Fight, we're trying to figure out where do we go from here. Is this something which is going to be coming to Parliament? And is Parliament uh, going to do something about the rights of the gay or the lesbian uh, community in India? Or is it going to go back to the Supreme Court for a curative petition and is something likely to happen out there? Or at the end of the day, are we going to be in this present situation now for the foreseeable future? So where do we head from here and what really are some of the issues that are thrown up now? That's what we're going to be discussing on this episode of The Big Fight. It's great to have with us Anand Grover, who's uh, a senior advocate who's representing the NAS Foundation in this. And we're going to try and get a sense of where the, the, the court case proceeds from here. Kamal Farooqi, uh, who's a mem member of the All India Muslim Person Law Board, one of the groups that had actually petitioned the Supreme Court and was very uh, active in this. Uh, Shridhar, filmmaker, who's, been, uh, who's, who's actually made a film which uh, the censor board didn't finally clear, right, on, 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 on the issue of, uh, of, uh, of, of gay rights and, and other uh, related issues. We have Father Stanley with us, who's the director of the Media Commission at the Archdiocese of, of Delhi. Uh, good to have you with us. Uh, Amarendra Sharan. Lawyer for the Delhi Commission for the Protection of Child Rights has a slightly different view on why he thinks uh, Section 377 should be there. We also have with us Chitra Palikar, who's uh, a filmmaker who's been a, an a, a activist really in this cause and is the, the mother of Shamali, and that's really where uh, your activism, Chitra, really came from. And in a couple of minutes, a little later in the program, we are going to be going to some representatives of political parties also to try and find out what they will do and what they will say if the matter actually does end up finally in, in Parliament. I want to start with you, Anand. Part of what the court seemed to say is, hey, look, there have only been 200 cases in these last 150 years where someone got punished uh, uh, by this. Why are we making such a big deal about this? And I've heard others saying, why is the media continuing to focus on this, this issue? I mean, it only con concerns a small fraction of people, is what I've had some people telling me. Well, first of all, 200 cases represent only a very small fraction of the ones who are prosecuted and the ones who are not prosecuted. So the numbers can be multiplied. And that's the case with most litigations in court. If you look at the actual cases which are reported, the ones that go to the High Court and the Supreme Court, the actual numbers in the society will be far ex exceeding that. That is one. What is the big issue? This is a law which was imposed by the British. Our culture, whether it was Hindu and Muslim, by the way, did not countenance, did not tolerate this kind of criminalization of intimate sexual relations. The British imposed it in 1860. They have got rid of it in 1960s. We carry on the legacy as if we have imbibed a colonial mentality. This is colonial mentality. That's not sufficient. It actually affects the lives of all Indians. If I'm a heterosexual, if I have penile oral sex with my partner who's a woman, that is also criminal. Yeah. But of course, heterosexuals are not affected low, by this law. Volume. Because the theoretically, police, they should be. I mean, theoretically, no, they should not be. Theoretically, they are theoretically liable. They should be. Theoretically, they are, it's applicable be, to them. Whether you're heterosexual or whether you're gay, you could, if, you are, yes, if you have a is, certain type of sex, being gay is not criminal. you should be arrested as much if you're but heterosexual. But no police officer is going to visit a marital home and say, hello, you are having penile anal sex or you are having penile oral sex. But the moment you are gay to men, it is assumed that you are doing it. And if you're holding hands, it's indecent, that sort okay. of thing. So, so it criminalizes people. By the way, let me just tell you, a lot of th people think, oh, what is the purpose of this case? A purpose has been achieved. Today, the vast majority of the Indian people do not believe. And I can vouch this from my own circles, my clerk and his people. They say nobody should be criminalized because of intimate personal yeah. relations. Yeah, I can, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm I gonna, there, there, there is a, there's a, a side effect to this, which I'm going to actually ask yes. about in a couple of minutes, yeah, which actually may well be positive yes. for the, for the, the People are talking about this issue. community. No, and also the amount that this has been fought for by a large number of people, Absolutely. the question of the stigma, has that started a, a different little? You see, one thing that's happened about. very clearly, <clears throat> despite the fact that the issues lost, come out of the closet. Yeah, not only issues come out of the closet, Today, the ordinary person, the community has gone beyond the judgment. Today, the community is not going to back into the closet. Okay. This fight will be won by the community. I can okay. assure you that. Okay. Can I, can I come to you, uh, Kamal Farooqi? Um, you 
there is a chance that the Supreme Court may look at this in a curative petition and might come back to Parliament. Now, you've been fighting so hard against this. At the end of the day, though, what we have right now, it's not as if homosexuality is banned or is illegal or is criminalized. You could be a homo, you could be gay as long as you never have sex. So that's essentially what it boils down to, right? And if you're a heterosexual couple who are engaging in sex of a certain nature, you could also be arrested under this, this act. Absolutely right, you are. Uh, basically, as far as, uh, and I'm not trying to preach Islam here, I'm just trying to tell about what actually Islam talks about the whole thing. Islam is totally against any sex outside the uh, marriage, in fact. Why it is in fact against? Because basically it feels Islam has got a teaching for us that he has created the mankind for a particular purpose. And anybody who is coming in the way of uh, the survival of the humanity as well as the advancement of the humanity, all those acts which go into this, it is uh, against uh, can, I, can I just ask out of yeah. theoretical question, why is it interfering with the survival of humanity? I tell you, I tell you, if it is, if uh, uh, as my brother is saying, gay, uh, having the homosexual is absolutely all right for him, then it should be propagated all over the world. And uh, let no, all, so no, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, we, we, no, we are, we are talking about people gay, gay doesn't mean that gay, that gay as such is not the crime. Gay as such is not the crime, but having the sex and which has been prescribed under 377, that's a crime. Whether it is being done by gay or even for the other homosexual also. So, homosexuality because, because, so let me yes. just understand this. Your theory, your thesis in other words <laughs> is that because sex should only be for procreation and for having children and you can't have children with this. So if you don't have, and I've, I've heard you saying this come on in, in, in other forums. If everyone was to do this, then very soon mankind would die out right? within a hundred years. Uh, which is not acceptable. Well, you know, actually right now population <laughs> Why not? doesn't sound Why not? that bad. Okay, uh, okay, but I, from, through, <laughs> through your <laughs> channel, the way the, way the, so, the way the way the media is taking up and uh, if all of our young, uh, youngsters, uh, brothers and sisters, if they uh, unfortunately get into it, what will happen after 100 years? But that's years? if 100% of people do, Obviously, right? If 10% if it is, if of it people is good, do, it If it is good, it should be applicable to all the mankind. No, no, it if it is not good, why it should be there? nobody says it's good. No, it, no, no, hang on, hang on. Hang on. The reverse, he's saying the reverse no, argument no, 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 is not that it's good or bad. The reverse no, argument no, no, is, no, no, no. should you mandate, if 10% of people want to have sex in a certain manner, absolutely. it doesn't affect the future of humanity. Absolutely, absolutely, because because what actually you are trying to preach? What actually you are trying to preach? You are trying to preach something which is against the humanity. You are trying to preach. Is that what you are trying to preach or is it yeah. essentially saying everyone should be left to do whatever they want to each other so long as it's consensual? In fact, like, I mean, like, see, if 95% of people like oranges and only 5% people like apples, so why shouldn't people allow to eat apples and allow to eat? Uh, it's not that like I'm choosing. It's just that like there are some people and it is a minority. Let's accept it. It's not a minuscule minority, but it's a minority. And one is not saying that this minority has a right to exist, has a right to basic right to love. And that has been taken away. So you cannot say like there's um, Muslims are a minority, Parsis are a minority. They should not be given a right. I'm saying every minority, if it's valid and they're not hurting somebody else. I'm not hurting this gentleman by having sex with my partner. I'm not hurting anybody. My okay. mother, suppose my mother has three children. The other children will procreate. Why should every person be procreating all the time? Okay. I hope not. I'm just saying, yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I mean, yeah, that so. I think it's a basic uh, flaw in, I don't think sex was just meant for procreation. Sex is an intimacy between two people and it can be enjoyed just for pleasure. And everybody does. I'm sure every person even says it's only for procreation does enjoy sex. Because for otherwise, theoretically, you should be procreating. You should be having sex twice, so in, twice your life, in your right? life. Twice yeah. or three times in your entire lifetime. Seriously. That's it. Yeah, that's I don't. It. He's right. That theoretically, by that logic, once you've had, if you're planning to have two children, you've had two children, that's it. You should have, it should be banned not, from that he, point he's, onwards. He's not a criminal. <laughs> no more sex he, ever he, again. Absolutely. I've had my two he, kids. Absolutely, he's not right. He's not right. Because that does why not after that it's only no, recreational. No, 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 no. no. Re why are you having sex after you have two kids? No, no. Even if it is and you can't use condoms, huh? Because yeah, that is that is no, 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 preventing. No, no, no. I, yes. I don't want to get into that. What but actually? No, no. I, no, no. I, I'm, I'm not going getting into this at all. I'm Where saying what? I'm, I'm saying what actually about the uh, uh, he's saying that if anybody wants to have only two children, then he should not have a sex. That's what actually you're trying to. That is no, not. I'm saying by that logic. No, no, but this is not the case. This is not. After that, it's not. This is not the case. This is not the case. The case is when you are making as far as the case is concerned. Uh, when you're talking about the police and all those kind of things, police is involved into all other things. So would you mean to say that all these books should be uh, finished off? There should not be IPC, there should not be any criminal law? Pol because of the police it, uh, uh, accessibility, we should go away with all these provisions? There is a prov This provision is for a specific purpose. Nobody is against gays, but having this case, uh, having the sex 
having the having the homosexuality that is forbidden but how and can that it be is not if i don't have sex you know that's what i'm saying no, i cannot they are not be, made for that uh, uh, they, i cannot just by, be you know what i'm saying no, i saying, could be called a sadhu no then i would be called no a problem with your, monk, there's actually, no problem you know? with being gay as long as you don't have sex ever yeah but like you know, why would like, i even survive and be around if i don't i can't have sex why would i label myself gay you know that's okay, pointless okay <laughs> let, let me come to you he made a point about minority rights which to some extent is what this is also about that Yes, it might be a small minority which does it, but if the minority is not interfering with what the majority does, he's making it an issue of minority rights. And frankly, to that extent, whether it's a minority like like the Muslims or Christians in the country, one of the reasons why many people fight for the rights of the minority is that in any democracy, minority rights are always as important as the majority. Right. So you shouldn't have. They, tomorrow there could be somebody who's writing up and saying that you know. Christian should not be allowed to pray in a certain manner or that it's, it's happened in the past right that you, yeah. you, you it will happen also in the future hopefully yeah. who knows but it, and and hopefully everyone will fight against it but, uh, the church also not against gays okay the there's a kind of a tendency which need to be helped the, the holy father francis that media keeps on quoting he said how god will look at him as his own creation that's the way the church will look at and we will not discriminate anybody even will not call criminal but the country's law is taking Uh, it's on course. The Supreme Court said, "Let the parliamentarians in this right. If the minority, this particular group of minority, wants that kind of a legalized process, and which has been trying to prove that kind of concept, I I don't know that that should be agreeable so or not." So you're saying help. You're saying that the that gays and lesbians should be helped. To definitely. come out of definitely. Of this. That's what you're See, saying. like it is, uh, so if you sir, if you analyze it, the, the whole tendency is the, the whole tendency is very case. very selfish. You are saying no, no, the whole this case, case is only about criminalization. No, no, it's not about no, no, other no, no. issues. Arun. It's not about sex Anand uh, Anand in Anand marriage or issue. outside marriage. Let's be no. Yes, I'm very happy. Father says we should not be treated like criminals. Kamal Fruki also says we should not be treated. That's all the issue. It's the only that issue. No, the rider. With so the rider, with the rider, with the rider, with the rider. The only issue, if they in, if they involved into the sex, that then they are the criminals. That's what the seventy seven is concerned. Then they are involved. See, the law is very clear about it. You have changed your position. No, I was asking something else. We were only asking for decriminalisation. I was not decriminalisation. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Faruqi, hang on. We know where you stand. It's fine. We have no problems if they are gay, as long as they never have sex with yes, each other. Yes, that's then we are criminal, fine, right? <laughs> Now I want to get. I want to come to my. Yeah, yeah. I want to yes. come to what you are saying. You are saying that <coughs> they should be helped, but not. But then, so I am asking you that: Would you like them to be helped, therefore, by having them arrested and thrown into prison? No, no. See, so you are that, against criminal That's what I am saying. Like the, this is a kind of a. I sorry, yeah. For sure. using this word, it's a kind of a psychological sexual it's deviation. Not, that, 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 it's very clear. Please, 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 Right, but okay. then love is very vast, very vast. So yes, and I love secondly, my mother. I love my so father. The, the whole concept is, I am not creating sex you, and love. I should have. I need not to have the sex with anybody who is no, your I mother. Have, I should have a right to have. You cannot have. I want to have sex with my partner. Please, for heaven's sake, relation. Don't despise the relationship. No, I only want to have sex with my partner. Please, for heaven's sake, don't despise the relationship. You, I love my daughter. I love my son. I love my father. I love my mother. So who's here? We all love that. I'm saying I want to have sex with my partner. We are talking. We restrict ourselves to the sex only. I okay. we are not, we are not you think yeah. I no you think I'm having uh, sex 24 by 7 no what, what, I'm doing I'm working who knows it I'm a filmmaker who knows it who no, knows it you are you are no you are I'm a filmmaker you are on these streets you are on these streets, the streets. No, no, the streets on, as if the entire because you know they're allowing me to do that you know in my bedroom no no I'm not having sex you were on these streets you were on the India Gate you were everywhere as if the entire come on come on come on come on come on yeah they're not having sex on the streets exactly they are if if give me a chance they will do that also that's it. If given a chance, they will do all that also. Okay. That is not the thing they are asking. I, you won't allow it. I also won't allow it. Let Even me, I will not allow it. Let them have Chitra, it in their homes. Chitra, let me get you in on this. <laughs> At the end of the day, we've you've heard the views that are expressed out here. One that it, being gay is fine as long as they never have sex with each other, or that anybody who's gay or lesbian, it's a it's a psychological disorder. They need to be treated, and therefore they should be criminalized in some sense. I guess. How do you re react to this? As far as I'm concerned, gays, lesbians. transgenders they are all natural there are scientific findings now 
which prove this point secondly you know it's not a cycle therefore it's not a psychological defect at all the psychiatric associations have now you know officially scrapped or rejected the lgbt's from their list of mental disorders that's one thing secondly as i was listening to the various opinions i just found that you know the entire humanity will vanish and that each family has to have a father and a mother and all these are beliefs the structure of family can go on changing it has been changing through the years secondly i do not understand why our children who are born as they are are not allowed to live as they are why should they be crimi uh, held criminals just because of views of others why should our children live by the beliefs of other people i mean i just don't understand this logic okay. you know i i personally feel that our children should have all their fundamental rights and at present to me the supreme court judgment by um, you know not upholding the delhi high court verdict has denied my child and other children of lgbt community their fundamental rights their right to equality their right to live dig with dignity their right to live with joy happiness and freedom and as a mother i feel this is what is more important to me that okay. is why section 377 should be scrapped okay so can i can i can i just once come back to 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 both of you on this and <clears throat> and to some extent what she said about the rights of individuals and the rights of minority groups do you agree with what i am saying about the basic tenet of india should be that every group and every minority group should be free to live pray be together in the way that they should want to so long as they're not affecting anybody Within else the four corner walls of my constitution nothing beyond that right now i'm trying to understand whether the what the what the, what the ipc whether it's constitutional or not so it is it's a part of the constitution so my question is if that is the principle that we all agree with yes why should two consenting adults not be free to have sex with each other in the manner that they want to so long as it's not affecting somebody else yes if they're doing it on the public road it could affect somebody because if they're, they're doing it in the privacy of their room why is it affecting because anyone because they are else? doing unnatural i feel it's natural I mean, I how is somebody so else questioning so how are you going to make sure so yes. how how I'll, are you I'll, going to it's completely I'll, natural I'll, the way i eat tell you how does it affect I'll, anybody I'll, else i will tell you no. i'll tell you let's say they do it has, unnaturally she has brought in the question of the natural gaze now as far as the natural gaze are concerned natural what natural gaze sorry natural identity no no natural this is a new identity we're going to match she's talking okay okay thank you i'm sorry i'm sorry gaze gaze cannot be natural They, they have to be unnatural. Absolutely. That's another thing. Yeah, they, yeah. But they, they, they are they're talking they're, about the. She is talking about the people who are born like this only. Everybody is born like that. Yes, I was born like that. I, I, I think. Like I that. think. Let her clarify what. She, what does she mean? Anyway, I think she's very. She is very clear on this. That her <laughs> child is a natural person who who does not have those kind of instincts which are. normally available others but Why she wants to no she uh, said that she's normal like as anybody else as no, no, sure. uh, i want to bring in something sorry i i really feel that there's too much of misconception and myths you know people do not understand who we are that's the reason they're afraid and for me that's a basic problem i feel we are here we are offline online organizations uh, neighborhood families we are there talk to us that's all you need to ask your basic questions frankest of frank doubts we are, we are ready to answer we, are talking we don't want to fight we don't want we to fight here. actually i am in the wrong show big fight is not my show okay because <laughs> no, yeah, seriously because like for big me big fights become a very peaceful show now compared <laughs> to what happens elsewhere on no, television no because i so believe I, no. i do not believe in confrontations i believe in conversations okay. i want people to just ask me any question i'll answer that and i think that's the way we should go so understand okay. us Can i, I want to I wanna get amrendra i want to get amrendra sharan in uh, before chitra i come back to amrendra sharan The argument that's being made by by Chitra and by others is that look, whatever is happening in the privacy of somebody's bedroom, which does not affect anybody else, why should society be involved in that? You know, how does it matter? Even if you think it's natural or unnatural, or whether you think it's correct or bad, if it's happening between two consulting adults in the privacy of their bedroom, why should it affect anybody else? You could have a view that drinking is bad. somebody may want to you know sleep doing yoga asan on the standing on the head you may think it's unnatural if it's happening in the privacy of someone's bedroom i should it affect anyone else now you have a slightly different take on this so far it's yes you see laws are framed by the legislature 
once laws are framed they have to be obeyed you gave the example of drinking drinking in private in gujarat would be punishable offense right. why because the legislator had made it an offense the sole repository of authority to declare a kind of conduct as criminal or not is with the legislature not with the courts so that was the basic flaw in the judgment of the high court you know sir can no, i just say that. can i just say that the number of times the judiciary though has intervened has taken a judicial activist route let me get you in on this this, this i mean, the point that he is making is what has often been said that the all of the supreme court did is say judicially this is what the correct thing to do is do you agree no, no, with that no 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 the the, court, the supreme court no. and amrinder will actually uh, you know bear me out the high court said that this section interferes with the dignity of a person his personality his very humanity that's why it's violative of article 21 and it violates article 14 and 15 clear pronunciation on fundamental rights of a person and how the violates how the 377 violates it now the supreme court says otherwise it says it doesn't violate it it doesn't say go to parliament after it decides that it is not in violation of fundamental rights it says it is not in violation we are dismissing the petition but of course and that is only advice it's not a finding of the court it doesn't say that we don't have the power it says no there is no violation of fundamental right now you go to parliament to be wish right. that is what it said yes. so it's not abdicating it's actually I'll, I'll saying the that any high court judgment is wrong now let me answer his point see yes. the difference between alcohol and this is that it is the very core of the personality of a gay person to have a sex to have sex in a particular manner in the privacy of his home so you are interfering with the very dignity and personality of a person they can't exist as human beings in a normal manner it's actually very gross it's not like okay i can have a drink if i drink alcohol if i i go to gujarat i don't drink there i don't want to get arrested but if i don't drink it doesn't really matter to me but for the whole of my life if i can't have sex i'm a non human in this society and that's why it's so fundamental we can't allow this law which was created it was not by parliament the british the judeo christian values were imposed here and i'll tell you one other thing 377 came through ipc at the same time it was directed against hijras hijras were actually the pride of place in mogol society the chief executive officer of the last mogol bahadur shah zafar was mehboob ali khan a hijra what is the position today their whole purpose was to demean our sexualities including hijras and they also brought in a law which was criminal tribes act okay can i can so i so the whole issue is very different is not alcohol okay amrinder can i respond to that why it was not held not violative of article 21 because the court agreed with the judgment of the constitution bench given earlier that if there is a substantive law then you cannot complain of violation of article 21 because Where is the court of addressed it the court has not addressed this issue at all it, that is court, our problem court has addressed no it's I'll not just show me i got the address the court never number, answered number, any number, issue number 2 yeah. sorry number 2 so far as sex is concerned in article 15 it has been used as a gender and not as sexual orientation sexual orientation is a fundamental right under the south african constitution but not under the indian constitution that is why the delhi high court judgment was in error i wish the supreme court had said what it mr saran is saying there is not a word about article 15 there is not a word about this issue in the judgment that's our okay. grievance okay a curative petition is a possibility curative petition is possible other processes are possible we are also trying to influence the legislators okay. that's a Can longer process let's go to the legislators then yeah, so that's a longer get... process let's